hello guys and welcome to my channel and in this video i'm going to walk you through how i edited this image from like this to this right here using capture one and photoshop let me quickly show you what i did so this was the image originally and um this was the image after i did uh, my capture one adjustment and these are the adjustments i made in capture one first of all i come to my exposure tab right here and um I just brought down my highlights so if I just show it before and after so you see the before and after before and after so I brought down my highlights I opened up my shadows I brought down my whites and I took my blacks inside and the next thing I did I come down to my levels and uh, for my RGB I just move my blacks inside and move my um, I did touch my highlights I just move all of my shadows inside this is the before this is the after like that before and after so i use it to add contrast to this image so the next thing i did i come down to my curves and for my rgb as well i just created an s curve to add more contrast to the image because originally the image was less contrasty so um let me quickly show the effect of that so this is the before and after for the curves and um after that the next thing i did i come down to my color um tab right here i just come to my white balance and i adjust my white balance so this was the original white balance before and after before and after so you can see the white balance just a subtle difference before and after like that i just move my um, curve into this side a little bit and i move my tint to the green side a little bit and after that the next thing i did i create new adjustment layer so I just come here, click on this one. I create a new empty adjustment layer. So if I turn off my adjustment layer, you can see what I did. This is the before and this is the after. So what I did, I just mask out the subject. So let me quickly open my mask. So I just mask out the, um, the subject and then I inverted the mask to the background and I just work, work on the background. So for the uh, highlights on the background, I just move it to this um, yellows. And um, for the mid I move it to the cyan side. And for the shadows, I move it to the cyan as well why um for the color editor i worked on the um hue of this oranges so i moved the oranges of this hue to this side so let me quickly show you the before and after so before and after so i worked on the background with this adjustment layer and for this other adjustment layer i just worked on the subject so i just make a selection of the subject as you can see my mask is on right now i made a selection of the subject and what i just did i just play with my um i come to my colors adjustment layer and i come to my skin tone so i come to my skin tone and i just play with the skin tone to make the skin to look even from here in this adjustment layer so that's all i did for um capture one this was our uh, before capture one and um this is after capture one so after doing all that i just took this image to photoshop and this was what it looks like inside of photoshop so let me just go to photoshop right now this was the um image originally in photoshop this, this is how i put it to photoshop and um the first thing i did now i just did my um focus separation so this is my focus separation right here i did my focus separation to smoothen out the skin and just remove some blemishes on the face so these are before and these are after so that's what i did for my frequency separation and the next thing i did i did a little bit of jump on just to remove um, some dark i'm seeing some dark spot on this um, face right here so this is the before and this is the after i just fixed it with my touch jump on and the next thing i did i even had the skin tone with my gradient map this is the before and this is the after just even add the colors on the skin and right here i did i created a hue and saturation layer just to um make the face look like the skin so if i if you see the before you can see the face is kind of yellow so i just use my hue and saturation layer to make it kind of dark like this so it's before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after so the next thing i did i use my levels adjustment layer to add um contrast to this image so this is the before and this is after my levels adjustment layer this is the before and this is after my levels adjustment layer so the next thing i do i create um a color lookup table so this is the before and this is the after and this uh lookup table is just um an inbuilt photoshop um color grading so just come to your foggy so i use foggy night so this is the one i use right here it's inbuilt in photoshop so that's how i get this color right here so this is the before and this is the after so the next thing i did i create a curves adjustment layer and i just um reduce the brightness of the image so and the next thing i did i 
create a stamp visible layer and I separate my subject from the background. So everything I'm doing right now it's on my background. So right here I create I uh, just um separate my subject from the background and all the adjustments I'm making right now are under my subject layer. So the next thing I did I add this lens flare. So this is the before and this is the after. This is the before and this is the after. So you can see that lens flare there. So I added it to the image and um the next thing I did I created this other one right here and add it to the image and everything is um under my subject layer so the reason why you're seeing them on top right here is because i have not opened my subject layer as i got this effect right here i just um separate my subject from the background and just apply all these effects to the background so these effects are overlays so i just apply them to the background layer so let me own my subject layer right now so you can see my subject layer right now and everything i just did is below my subject layer so this is before and after what we've done so far the before and after this thing I did I just added those leaves to the image so this is the before and this is the after and I change the blend mode to screen like that and next thing, next thing I did added butterflies to the image so this is the before and this is the after for the butterflies before and after and next thing I did I create an, I created another stamp visible layer so this is my subject right here so I created another stamp visible layer like this and after i created this time visible layer i added hue and saturation to the image so i just changed the colors of the dress with this hue and saturation so this is the before and this is the after and the next thing i did i created um color balance adjustment layer just to add some colors to the um shadows and highlights so this is the before and this is the after and the next thing i did i created another curves adjustment layer just to darken the whole image so this is the uh, before and um this is the after and the next thing i did i created another color lookup table and um i also use that uh foggy night which is in beauty for the in beauty photoshop so this is the before and this is the after just to give the image that um bluish look so i created another cover i just layer just to add a little bit of um uh, vintage looks to the image so i just drag this um part up this is the before and this is the after just a subtle difference and the next thing i did i created another levels adjustment layer just to add a uh, contrast to this image so this is the before and um this is the after as you can see the difference before and after so after that the next thing i did i created another stamp visible layer and um i converted it to smart filter so what i did i just um come to my camera roll. what i did in the camera roll, i just come to this camera roll in beauty presets and i just choose um this one right here this um color grid right here this cn12 and you can find it under this cinematic tool so you can see cn12 is the one i used and also for this vignette just scroll all the way down and um you can see vignette right here and i just use this light one right here and i click on ok so that's what i did in camera roll. so let me quickly show you the effect of that so and i also sharpen this image on this um layer right here so let's really see the before and after this is the before and this is the after so that's camera roll effect and the sharpen that's what i did on this layer right here the before and the after then after that i create another curves adjustment layer and i just add a little bit of um brightness to the um mittens and also a little bit of brightness to the highlight like this so this is the before and this is the after so you can see it has made the image look a little bit brighter before and after and the last thing I did for this image, I just add a little bit of um, brightness to the shadows area. So this is the before and this is the after. So that's all I did for this image. So let's see how well before and after. This is where we started from and um, this is where we are right now. So if you want to see a full retouching tutorial for this particular image, let me know in the comment section and I'll do that video. I hope you learned something for this video. If you do, make sure to give this video a like so that more people can see this video and learn from this video as well. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.